Yes, so on 22nd of November, UPSC announced the final results for Engineering Services Examination held for the year 2023. Uh, so congratulations to all the students who got the top ranks, who got qualified this particular examination. And then, uh, you know, soon after that, uh, UPSC also has uh, given the cutoff list, okay. And not only the final cutoff out of 1300, they have given even the cutoff for the prelims and the combined written exam, that is prelims plus mains, okay. So, you know, those who appeared for this exam, they Definitely, they must be waiting uh, to look into the cutoffs. They already, some of you might have come to know about this. And also, guys, these aspirants who are going to appear for next year, let's say you're going to appear for 2024 or 2025, it's also important to know cutoffs. And as per your point of view also, because you should know where your target is, okay, how much you have to target, okay, whether the cutoffs here are similar to GATE or any other exam. Let me also tell you that definitely cutoff depends on two important factors. The difficulty level of the paper in that particular year, Okay, and also the number of vacancies in that particular year. Okay, so by looking into this cutoff, it is not necessary that you can exactly predict the, uh, you know, next year's cutoff, but it is tentative in nature. Okay, somewhere around this can be expected. So let's have a look into this, guys. Uh, first of all, looking into the electronics uh, and telecommunication. Okay, so electronics and telecommunication, if you have a look, guys. Okay, out of the 1300, the cutoff is 594 only. That is less than 50%. It's less than 50%. Okay, whereas last year it was 651. Now, I'll tell you this year, in, in between suddenly the vacancies for electronics and telecommunication were increased. Okay, and because of more number of candidates to be recruited, definitely the cutoff went low. Also at the same time this year paper, especially the prelims technical paper was relatively difficult as compared to last year that already we have discussed and that is why you're able to see the minimum qualifying marks in the prelims paper out of 500 is only 124. Okay, and then the cutoff out of 1100 is 372. So this is 1100 means, see, this portion is pre. Okay, and this includes pre plus means. Okay, this include pre plus means the final plus interview. Okay. So uh, accordingly, all the three stage cutoffs are mentioned. And also at the same time, there are some hidden parameters that students, uh, you know, must be knowing. Okay, so as you see with the prelims result, minimum qualifying standards and there is a star mark. Okay, what is the star mark actually? It's clearly mentioned here. Subject to minimum 15% marks in each paper. Now prelims has two paper, paper one, paper two, paper one being the non-tech and paper two being the uh, technical as per your brand specific. So you should have minimum 15% in each paper and that's a very, very minimum thing they keep. Okay, so most of the students students who are in a position to qualify LMC or qualify the overall cutoff, they 99% chance they qualify this 15% criteria as well. But yeah, this is just to give you an indication that yes, you have to be prepared about paper one also. That is a non-technical paper. Okay, because 15% weightage. So 15% is just like, uh, you know, how much? 30. The 200 ka non-tech hota hai. So it's just 30 marks. Okay. Now, similarly, uh, minimum qualifying standards out of written exam, there is a hash written here. So, you know, when you come to especially the mains, there are two papers of technical, uh, two written papers, paper one, paper two. And you should have minimum 20% in each paper there as well. Okay, so that means minimum 20% is like, uh, you know, we can say 60-60. Okay, now let's go to the other branches. Uh, you know, moving on towards the electrical dear. So if I go towards the electrical, okay. Yeah, let's highlight this. So electrical this year it's 666. It's just very close to 50%. Now you're also able to observe, okay. Cutoffs close to 50%, electronics less than 50%. These natures are unlike gate examination because, you know, gate examination is actually mostly numerical oriented, numerical or conceptual oriented. Whereas engineering services, 600 marks to totally written. That is conventional. Okay, there all your presentation, writing, everything will matter. And even if you talk about the prelims, which is objective in nature, there are several questions, okay, which are more of factual and theory nature which is not commonly found in gate that is why you know when you have numerical problem problems coming up and if a student is really conceptually strong he or she can score much better in gate okay but here you have to remember a lot of facts and figures and even data has to come and the non-tech part also that is why you know the cutoffs are always not only this year okay around you know if you're say getting uh, 50 60 percent okay you're almost qualified okay you're, you're, you're qualified and even, you know, going beyond 60%, you'll be towards the topper zone. Ye dhyan rakhna hamesha. Okay, so now uh, for electrical, uh, the prelims cutoff has been 173. This is also on the lower side. And electronics 124, I believe it is the lowest in the history uh, of this prelims pattern. 
okay and out of 1100 it is 458 for the electrical engineering so again even this 173 is a significantly low figure usually uh, for electrical also it used to be around 190 200 and even up to 225 30 so this year it has been low coming to mechanical also the cutoffs are low here as well last year if you compare it was 745 in the 2022 this year it's 661 again just like 50 percent almost you can feel here okay the prelims is 173 cutoff and out of 1100 prelims plus mains written cutoff is 445 for the the mechanical and uh, coming to the civil engineering uh, you know where vacancies are more and always usually most of the time civil engineering vacancies are more okay last year it was 756 this year 783 okay one of the reasons definitely could be ki last year paper one in the mains was slightly on the difficult side okay as i discussed with abhinav negi sir uh, uh, that is one of the reason last year it was low but this year paper was relatively on the regular trends that usually upsc will produce okay so 783 and uh, for prelims it is 218 and total written out of 1100 the cutoff is 590 okay so for civil you're all able to feel that yeah this these figures are nearly close to 60 percent okay but it's not like a 60 percent cutoff the topper is at 80 percent you know you take 65 70 percent topper will be around that okay soon once the complete data is released including topper marks and all we'll talk about that as well this is just a date see data analysis is important in every field so if you are a future aspirant also you should know clearly what your targets are okay guys so uh yeah yeah, we have talked about uh, these cutoffs in this video uh, and uh, hope you set your target accordingly and you know in in engineering services let me tell you that actually every stage is important okay definitely first stage is prelims without prelims you don't go to the next stage but in prelims also you have to focus on paper one that is a non-tech as well as the paper two but remember in paper one that is non-tech okay around 30 to 40 marks is only maths and aptitude nearly every time Okay, and then, uh, you know, mains, of course, 600 marks and, and mains, of course, your knowledge and concept will be really important. But other than that, your presentation, your writing, everything will matter. And then you go to the personal interview. Let me also take tell you that, that there are several students okay uh, who got benefited from the Baiju's exam prep you know be it the you know the test series be it the classroom program which helped them push the prelims and mains okay we also conducted the mains classes conventional you know uh, how do you write the answers and then eventually we also conducted the mock interviews okay for the uh, you know last stage that is the interview and students at some stage of time they've got benefited you also keep preparing okay preparing with high spirits okay whether your target is gate or ESC thank you stay safe and stay subscribed to our channel if you want to get regular updates about all the activities happening around gate and engineering services examination thank you